using a quarter inch square brush and that's nice for edging. When I'm putting my darks in, I like to add, keep light bouncing through the dark shapes. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to pull a lighter value within all our dark shapes. You don't want them to be flat dark. I'm going to pull it up and add some lightness through it. See, and with a wet brush, you can just pull the edge, pull it on up. So you're going to get your darkest value, and within that shape, we're going to be looking for the next three lighter values. I'm going to add a little bit of red here, another puddle, and this is a lighter value, and you can drop that in within this dark shape, and it's going to add a nice variety within this dark shape. Okay, go back, you can drop in a little darker pigment. Now you notice I, I left some white spots here. I'm going to come back in with a wet brush and just pull them together. There you go. That's your first dark shape. And then over on this side, as you can see in the reference photo, there are some more dark shapes. Now you don't want these two to touch because you don't want it, you would not like your pigment to bleed together. So I'm going to leave a little white dry area right there. Leave some white shapes because I'm going to come back in and bleed those together. So this method is a wet on dry. There you go. Clean my brush. Wipe it. I'm not going to wipe it to, so it's bone dry. You want a little bit of dampness within your brush. Pull it on down. Wipe it a little more. And what we're doing is setting up a nice foundation so when we go back in and glaze in with that lighter red, we'll be having an orange red, this will definitely hold it all together and create the shape of the glass. Come on over here. We're going to do the rim in a little bit, but right now we'll just go ahead and lay this in. See how the quarter inch square really works for you. You get a full coverage with the, with the turn of the brush. Clean brush. Go ahead and just lay that in. And see how the light, it looks like light's bouncing through right now. Now, you may feel more comfortable with the number six round. And that's okay. Sometimes I move back and forth. I, I'll use the square at times. It depends on the shape. So I have a nice square shape here so I can knock that in. Come on down. Following this shape around. The fun thing about painting glass is that you can follow shapes. You can be pretty accurate. Or you can have the freedom of actually exaggerating some of the distorted shapes that you see. And I think that's the beauty of painting glass is that you can, you can exaggerate and you can imply more shapes than what you really see. Now I'm going to come over here again. I'm wetting my brush. You can wipe it on the side then give it just a little bit of a hit on the paper towel. Bring it on down. You knock that in. See the nice value change that you're getting. So you want to think about values as you're painting these in. Value first, color second. So as long as you're getting a dark, dark value in, you want that this is going to be your darkest within this piece of glass right here. 